What's up, guys? It's Josh here. I was just a little bit nervous there. Uh, I don't know why. But, um, anyway, uh, I haven't posted a video in a long time, so I thought now would be the time to post it. And, yes, I am playing Firing Range Headquarters. Uh, originally I was actually voting for Grid, but uh, I guess uh, this didn't work out too bad either, considering I did pretty well on it. And, uh, as you can tell, I haven't been playing Call of Duty in quite a while, so that's why I'm using this really awful class with the FAMAS silenced, uh, Python dual wields along with, I think it's Scavenger, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Ninja? I think, yeah. Alright, so, uh, wow, I can't believe how fast time has gone by. I mean, could you even think that... A while ago, or uh, September 2nd, we were playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 at XP. That was September 2nd, I think it was. Absolutely awesome, but to make it even better, or to make it even worse, the wait time, how long you had to wait for that game. And me now, I'm I'm getting it tonight, man. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um... Uh, just for you guys, I am actually going to be uh, posting a live commentary, both on my first multiplayer gameplay and on my uh, first survival gameplay. So, uh, yeah, and I think that I'll be doing those solo, but I think I might have a friend coming over. So, if that happens, that just means it, it'll be recorded in uh, split screen, if that's alright with you guys. But, um, well, <laughs> it's gotta be alright with you guys. Because if it's not, you, you gotta you gotta deal with it. Anyway, so uh, yeah, haven't been playing Call of Duty in a while. I'm just starting to get back into it with the release of Modern Warfare 3, and again, that is why I'm using such a uh, newbie slash tryhard class because I would not do very well at all with any other class. I'm just gonna straight up say that I would suck if I was playing with anything else. And, uh, on the same note, um, what are you guys sort of, uh, expecting out of Modern Warfare 3? Because obviously the trailer's, uh, been hyping you guys up quite a lot, and, uh, well, it did just what it wants, but it just can't be another Black Ops to where, <gasps> you see the trailer and it's like, <gasps> that game's gonna be amazing, oh my god, that game's gonna be amazing, and then it turns out, yeah, if you buy it, it sucks. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and also, if you can leave in the comments your favorite thing about Modern Warfare 3, or the thing that you want most about Mon want most in Modern Warfare 3, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Just, just kind of curious, uh, one of the things for me that I'm actually looking forward to is, uh, I'm really looking forward to survival mode, and I am really looking forward to, uh, the sniping in that game and how it's fixed, or not even fixed, uh, how it's normal. Black Ops ruined it. I mean, uh, still gonna get comments uh, saying that quick scoping can be done. Yes, it can, but it's still a pain. Like, I don't know. I hardly snipe in this game at all anymore. If I want to snipe, I'll go hop on COD Four, Modern Warfare Two, even World at War. That game sucked for sniping. <laughs> Ow, that hurt um a lot. Anyway, uh, what's well, another thing that I wanted to talk about? Oh yes, um. Uh, you've probably noticed by now that, um, the quality of this recording is actually pretty good. Can you guess what it is? Is it a Dazzle? Mmm, nah, it can't be a Dazzle, it's too HD for that. Um, can it be, uh, Hava HD? Nah, it's too HD for that. Uh, there's only one thing that it really can be. An easy cab! No, I'm just kidding, uh... I believe it's called a Hop Hodge HD PVR. That's right. I finally bought one. Uh, I was getting so many comments from you guys saying, great video, but the quality sucks. And I was getting sick of hearing that. And uh, plus, I've always uh, wanted an HD PVR. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you guys really like or like this quality even more, uh, please send me a message. I'd love to hear the fact that I didn't just go out and spend... Uh, almost three hundred dollars just for nothing and i know it's only like 220 but i got it from future shop and i got the uh... three-year warranty so that's why it was a bit more expensive 
but um yeah and actually you can see that the hd quality still isn't as good as pvrs get uh the reason for that is um uh, i don't really have an hd tv i just have a standard def so i kind of had to find a way around that uh, quality still looks pretty good but don't worry the quality does get better uh now i'm saving up for uh an hd tv well um that was such a lie i'm not even saving up for that i'm just hoping to get it for christmas <laughs> Oh man, this is such a long game playing headquarters. Um, should have written down something to commentate on. Uh, I could commentate on the gameplay, but that's kind of it's kind of for FIFA. And as per FIFA, I know you guys are probably a little bit uh, upset that I had been uh, posting a lot of FIFA gameplay as opposed to Call of Duty. It's just because FIFA 12 came out, and uh, well, you gotta love that game. Gotta show it some love. Gotta show the game some love. But anyway, same thing's going to happen to uh, Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to get it, and you guys are going to get a burst of gameplays, just like FIFA 12. And it's going to get you guys all excited, and then I'm going to post not as regularly anymore because I have a life apart from YouTube. So, um, yeah, you guys probably didn't know that about me. I have a life. Uh, well, wow. <laughs> I guess I don't have a life if I'm speaking into a mic. Uh towards nothing and just sort of improvising for like a 14 minute video that I didn't write down anything to commentate on and um, wow okay is there anything that I can say yes I can and uh, wow I gotta stop saying and so oh my goodness um uh, you guys probably noticed that I'm starting uh, to get better at editing and you guys have noticed that I've even uploaded some edits to YouTube. And, uh, wow, it's an end again. But, um, I'm at, oh my god. Um, mm, I'm starting to upload a lot more edits. And actually, if you guys are uh, pretty good at, uh, I'm pretty good at sniping. And you make montages, but your editing is sort of like uh, really bad. I can help you out with that. I mean, I'm always looking to edit a montage for somebody. Uh, editing is just so much fun, in my opinion. And, uh, wow, that was a fail. But, yeah, if you like my new editing style, please let me know. I've been uh, experimenting a lot more with After Effects and exploring the new possibilities of After Effects. And uh, if you have any tips for me when I'm uh, editing, just please let me know. And, oh my god. God, I sound so boring in this. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? Oh, hi, Misty. Misty, do you want to commentate this for me? I sound very, I sound very depressed, almost like I'm doing doing some kind of drug or something. I'm not, but it sounds like it. Misty, come here. Misty, you know what? Fine. Uh, be a be a dog that doesn't listen to me. Uh, wow. And, oh, man, now I know a topic that I kind of wanted to talk about a while ago is, uh, how was your guys' Halloween? I mean, being gamers and all, you kind of got to strive for scaring the crap out of people. Uh, I strived for that. I should have wore a camera on my head, one of those GoPro, but I didn't. But, uh, what I did was, um, I went trick-or-treating. Yes, I'm only 13. I can still go trick-or-treating. But anyway, I went as a uh, ghillie suit, well, a uh, ghillie sniper, you know, like, with a sniper rifle, and you look like grass, and, well, being Halloween night, <laughs> that was so much fun. I mean, can you imagine, uh, it's night, everybody's, like, watching their back, it's Halloween, you're, you're sitting in a bush, right in people's eyes, you pop out, and you go, Wah! scare the crap out of them. <laughs> Scared about four or five people. I almost gave this one lady a heart attack. I feel so bad, but it was still so funny. <laughs> yeah, Halloween was great. I mean, my ghillie suit wasn't even that amazing. Like, it wasn't even a full ghillie suit. I made it, uh, it was homemade. And I made it in, like, five days to a week. And it still wasn't even full, but it still scared the crap out of people. Because, why? It's Halloween, and people are looking for Ghostbusters! Or, uh, ghosts. And then looking to bust them! So, yeah. Uh, you'll leave in the comments, uh, what you were for Halloween, or what you dressed up as. 
and uh, the most creative one will actually get my sub box for a week. Ooh, fancy. Not really. I've got like 450 subscribers. What's that going to do for you? <laughs> but, you know, still a cool thing to be on my channel. Feel important for that week or so. And, um, also, I'm kind of wondering something. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are ready to hear this or not, but, um, yeah. What? Oh my god. Am I that bad at improvising? I just completely lied to you guys? I've got nothing to say about that. Right now, I'm just distracted about the fact that my dog is sniffing my foot. I mean, and, she, and she's not... Misty, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> God. St stop the tickles. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> and by the way, guys, if you don't know, uh, uh, my dog, Misty, it's a girl. Uh, and she is very energetic, but she is tiny as crap. And she is, like, I think, eight, eight nine years old. And she's... Still, uh, just the size of my foot and my hand put together, and that is not very big at all, considering how old she is. She was the, she was the midget of the litter, or uh, the midget of the crowd of the puppies. Uh, we got her because I was really young, and she made me feel tall. That's how short she was. She made me feel tall, and I was like five, really, really small. <laughs> But, um, wow, I love how Misty just gave me a topic there, that was awesome. Hey Misty, do you have any other ideas? Yes? No? Maybe, maybe, maybe so? Yes? No? Mm, that, that sucks. Well, I have sort of one more thing to say. Uh, being in Canada, today we, uh, we saw something, and a lot of it. We saw snow! We saw some snow on the ground, yes, that's right. Some snow, some white snow. It's absolutely fantastic. And actually, I will probably be interrupted, but if so, I will just pause the video. And, uh, yeah, back to snow. If you don't know what snow is, it's white, it's watery, and it's awesome. But the thing is, it didn't stay because it got warm again. Uh, it got warm in the afternoon, it like snowed in the morning. It was very depressing. Uh, if you guys, uh, you know, you, sh you should share your best snow story. My best snow story is, uh, living in Manitoba, you get, you get that, them big snow, and, uh, you jump off bridges, not, not suicidal, uh, like, like ten foot bridges, do front flips into the snow, uh, it's so much fun. Only thing is, you get home, your parents are like, what happened? It's like, I jumped off a bridge. They start freaking out, they call, they call child services or whatever it's called. My son's trying to kill himself. No, no, no. You're saying in the background, it's so quiet. You're just like screaming at them. No, 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 no. Not a big bridge. A little bridge. I'm just jumping into it. And actually, I've been interrupted. And I will pause. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry for that interruption. And to you, it sound seems like uh, absolutely no interruption at all. But uh, for me, there was. My dad just got home from work for supper. And he had to ask if I ate anything yet. And, um, well, guess what? I haven't. That's right, I've been making this commentary. I have been too busy poning noobs with the Silence of Hamas uh, tryhard class. And, um, yeah. Okay, well, was I at? Oh, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> so much fun jumping off bridges into snow. Don't get any ideas if you're not, like, experienced or there's, uh, no snow on the ground because that's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. It's fun, though, but it's not a good idea. I mean, we'd be minus 45, be walking home from school, and we always have to go past this bridge, and it's always like, <gasps> I bet you five bucks you can't do a face plant into that and stay in the snow. We took that bet, and we ended up paying them five bucks because they could do that. We could do that, them tough Manitobans. If you live in Canada, you know what I mean. If you live in the States, you should feel left out right now. But, um, wow, did, did that just get, like, a lot louder? Should I, like, speak farther away from my mic? Yes, no. Yeah, I'll keep it the same. Okay, uh, yeah, and if you guys haven't seen snow before, either move to Canada, or come here when it's, like, maybe, uh, 
around Marchish. There's still lots of snow, but that way it's not like minus 50 out. It's only around minus 25. It's not too bad. And then you should go uh, make some snow angels or uh, do some face wash contests. See how long you can hold your face in the snow. My record's like 30, 30 minutes. Uh, legit 30 minutes and uh that's the end of the video so remember to rate comment favorite and subscribe thank you for watching have a nice day and i'll see you playing mon warfare 3 tomorrow wait yeah tomorrow peace